Once upon a time, in a world not unlike our own, there was a young boy named Leo. Leo was ordinary in every way, average grades, a few close friends, and a knack for daydreaming about being something more. One day, a letter arrived at his doorstep, inviting him to a prestigious magic school hidden deep in the mountains, a place where his wildest dreams could come true. Excited yet nervous, Leo packed his bags and set off for this mysterious school. Upon arrival, he was awestruck by the grand halls filled with magical creatures, enchanted classrooms, and students who could do incredible things. However, Leo felt out of place. He was just a normal kid among extraordinary beings, and despite his best efforts, he struggled to fit in. One day, during a particularly challenging transfiguration class, Leo stumbled upon an ancient spellbook hidden in the school's vast library. The book was filled with powerful spells, including one that caught his eye, a transformation spell that could turn him into any creature he desired. Feeling invisible and desperate to stand out, Leo decided to use the spell to transform into a grey folk so sleek, smart, and undeniable cute. The transformation was an instant success. Leo's new form was adorable, with soft grey fur perky ears, and bright, intelligent eyes. When he returned to the school as a grey fox, everything changed. Suddenly, he was the center of attention. Other students admired his courage and uniqueness, and he quickly became popular. Leo reveled in the newfound attention and admiration, enjoying every moment of his life as an anthro grey fox. Weeks passed, and Leo's popularity only grew. He was invited to all the best parties, befriended the most talented students and even earned the respect of the teachers. Yet, despite all the adoration, there was a small voice in the back of his mind that questioned whether this new life was truly fulfilling. One night, as Leo wandered the moonlit corridors of the school, he found himself in front of the mirror he had used to cast the transformation spell. He stared at his reflection, seeing the charming grey fox that everyone loved. But as he looked deeper, he began to remember who he was before Rhea an ordinary boy who had always felt like he had nothing to offer. In that moment, Leo had a sudden moment of clarity. He realized that while his life as a grey fox brought him popularity and praise, it was all based on a facade. The friends he had made, the attention he received it was all because of the transformation. If he returned to his true form, would he be left with nothing once again? Leo thought long and hard. The truth was painful but undeniable. He had felt empty before the transformation because he hadn't yet discovered his true worth. Now, as a grey fox, he had found acceptance, but it wasn't the acceptance he truly needed. He had been chasing external validation instead of looking within himself. But then, a new thought emerged. As a grey fox, he had the chance to reinvent himself and not just in appearance but in character. He didn't need to change back to prove his worth he could use this new form to become the person he had always wanted to be, someone who was confident, kind, and genuinely cared for others. With a deep breath, Leo made a decision. He would remain as a grey fox, not because of the popularity, but because it symbolized the transformation he wanted to make inside. He vowed to be true to himself, to build real friendships, and to grow into someone who could stand tall in any form of whether human or fox. From that day on, Leo embraced his new life with a renewed sense of purpose. He became a leader among his peers, not because of his appearance, but because of the kindness and wisdom he showed. He realized that he hadn't started with nothing he had simply been searching for the right way to bring out the best in himself. And so, Leo remained a grey fox. But more importantly, he became someone who was loved and respected for who he truly was inside and out.